Praise God. So our whole focus is upon uh, Jesus. And uh, this shouldn't be just a cliche, you know. This should be something that we are very conscious about. The problem with our situation is always that we focus a lot on ourselves. So we put a lot of emphasis on ourselves. Yeah. So that is called a soulish person. And like, uh, you know, some people ask, you know, how can I avoid uh, being very sensitive? Like when people say something bad about me or people criticize me. Now, I can give you the secret here. And that is, uh, you have to die to yourself. <laughs> uh, that's why when you go to the graveyard and you scold the people at, at the graveyard, they are not going to jump out and respond. All right? Nobody is going to jump out and say, why you scold me? And then you can stand there and praise the person. The person is not going to come up and say, thank you, because the person is dead. So you have your struggle is because why? Because you are not dead. All right? Now, this is a very difficult uh, chore, you know, because when Jesus said that you shall take up your cross daily, you know, you deny yourself daily. Wow. The reason why daily is because we always, every morning we got up and then we become alive again. Then we sit on our throne again. Then we get very sensitive again. Then people say something. Then we, uh, in Malaysia, we will say, you know. <laughs> And then uh, we cannot eat, we cannot sleep because somebody says something bad about us. But you don't have to go through that. You really don't have to go through that because you learn the secret of the word of God. Right? You die to yourself, you become alive to Christ and anybody say bad thing about you, no issue because the definition of your life doesn't depend upon these people. These people are not your gods. These people are not going to change your life. If they got money, they are not going to give to you, right? If, if, if they have any good thing, if they criticize you, they are not going to come and bless you. The only person who is real, you know, every moment going to bless you is Jesus Christ, your creator God. He is the one who loves you so much. And then you focus a lot of, of attention on people who do not love you, and then you get all vexed up and they're all frustrated. Why? You know, sometimes I, I, I can be pretty harsh. You know, I say that, why don't you move from the zone of stupidity to the zone of wisdom? God gave you the zone of wisdom. And why are you struggling with all this? You don't have to. All right. Because these people, they don't create you. They are not your creator. So don't let the world define you. Let Jesus Christ, let God define you. I tell you, when you are in love with Jesus, a lot of wonderful things happen to your life. You, you know, you smile better, you laugh better, you know, and then uh, for all of you ladies, uh, you've got less wrinkle, you know. Yeah, so that you don't have to go for plastic surgery to help you. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you look at some of our past videos, we have been talking about uh, the soulish self and the spiritual self. Uh, soulish self will be the self that you are king or you are queen and you decide to take control of your life. And so every time when you encounter people, you are always like reading, uh, reading in between the line about what people say, you know, and then you are affected by their mood, you are affected by their non-verbal uh, expression. Uh, so all these are your soulish self. You always compare, you compete, you know, and uh, a lot of stress, a lot of stress. Yeah. And the Lord says that, you know, you should surrender all this to me because you, the soulish self, okay, let me put it this way. The soulish self is the false self, is the fake self, is not the real self. Because that this is a self that is created by you, not created by God. See, the spiritual self is the one created by God. But many of us, we reject God in our heart. We reject God. 
outside we say oh we go to church we are christian or we love jesus but honestly inside our heart we sit on our throne we reject the recommendation of god and we accept what we think about ourselves that's why you struggle that's why i got so much stress i you so many years you know this habit this old habit of you know you know, defining yourself, you know, and then get into all this kind of a problem that you don't have to. Some of you actually, you even have migraine headache. You got, you know, ulcer in your stomach. You got stress, you know, all over your neck here. And every day you wake up with this stress. Why? Right? <laughs> you don't have to do this. Right? God give you a way out. God say that, I want you to be the person that I've created you to be. I don't want you to be the person that you create yourself to be. So please, can you let me be your God? And that's what God is telling you. So how do you do, do this? We, we have one we call handover prayer, right? Remember the handover prayer, which means that you relax. You've got nothing else that you can do. You hand over. So you got this thought, you know, I uh, that Mary uh, talked bad about me. Uh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Uh. You hand over to God. Lord, you know, I'm so angry with Mary because she talked bad about me. You hand over. Now I hand this over to you because, Lord, I can't handle this. I hand over to you. And let go. Let go. And then the, the Lord will whisper in your heart and say, thank you. I'm going to take care of this. And Mary is no longer your concern. I will take care of her. All right. And I also want to take care of you. And you'd be totally relaxed. And that's it. You hand over. 